this lesson, we're going to look at applying fillet and chamfer features to the 2D entities in our drawing. Beginning with the fillet command, first thing I want to point out is the radius is currently set to 100 units. When using the fillet command, it is possible to use the shift key to force a sharp corner. So here, after selecting the first item, I use the shift key to select the second item. Notice how a sharp corner is defined. Repeating the process, again selecting the first entity and then pressing the shift key and selecting the second entity. Repeating the fillet command, this time we'll set the radius to 10 units and then select the first entity and the second entity and you'll notice that the entities are trimmed and a 10 unit radius arc is applied tangentially between the edges. Now here I'm going to use the trim mode and set it to no trim so that I can fillet these corners with a 50 unit radius arc and you'll notice that the lines are not trimmed. Setting the trim back to trim mode, I'm going to set the radius to 10 units and again select the first and second entity. Okay, the next thing that we're going to look at is applying fillet radiuses to all corners on a polyline. So starting the fillet command, I'm going to choose the radius option and enter a value of 5. Then I'm going to select the polyline option and you'll notice that all four corners are filleted at one time. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take a look at what occurs when I use the fillet command on two parallel lines and a radius that is equal to half the distance between the lines is drawn. Next we're going to clean up this feature here and then let's go ahead and move to the chamfer command. When applying the chamfer command I have the option of selecting a distance on the first and second entity and then selecting the entities in which case the distance 1 will be applied along the first entity selected and distance 2 applied along the second entity selected. Next we're going to use the angle option of the chamfer command and enter a length of 5 and an angle of 18. Then we're going to select the first and second entities and repeat the process for the lower part of the slot. That concludes our lesson on filleting and chamfering in BricsCAD.